Hello and welcome to IUP. I am from the Registrar's Office, and today I will be sharing with you the different services that our office provides to students and parents. Let's start with, what is the Registrar's Office? The Registrar's Office is the gatekeeper of a student's educational record. It is where students can obtain information about their enrollment, registration, class schedules, grades, degree audits, and diplomas. We provide many important services through our office. First, we will discuss how to create a student record release authorization. This authorization grants a parent or other third party designee access to a student's educational record. Next, enrollment verifications are needed to show proof of enrollment for healthcare, dental and vision insurance, and loan deferments. Then we will cover accessing transcripts. A transcript is a document listing all of the courses a student has taken at IUP along with their grades. It will include all courses transferred to IUP from other colleges or universities, as well as dual enrollment courses taken. Another service we provide is DegreeWorks, a tool that students will use with their advisor to stay on track while working towards their degree. And lastly, the academic calendar is available through our office. Key dates for the semester are available, as well as access to academic calendars for future and past semesters. Let's start with FERPA. Just as you have heard of HIPAA, the law created to protect and keep your medical record confidential, FERPA is a federal law created in 1974 to protect and keep confidential key pieces of a student's educational record. Examples of key pieces of a student's educational record that are protected by FERPA include grades, transcripts and diplomas, probation status, schedules, and disciplinary records. The law states that these key pieces of the educational record cannot be released to another person or third party without the written consent and authorization from the owner of the record. This then begs the question, who is the owner of the educational record? IUP's policy is that once a student is registered for coursework, which will be created for the student after this orientation experience, the student becomes the owner of his or her own educational record. For example, if a parent would call our office looking for their child who is to be in class and want to know the building and time of the class, we could not release this information according to federal law. However, don't panic though. This is why I am here today to tell you about what IUP has developed to be compliant with federal law, but still provide parents and family members with the information they need while empowering students as they transition to adulthood. How we do this is called the Student Record Release Authorization. Think of this as an online electronic permission form where students give permission for a third party person to discuss protected educational information. Access can be given to all or select categories of the educational record regarding grades, dismissal, grade point average, registration and scheduling, financial aid, billing, and or housing. I would like to caution everyone that this is a, a, a dynamic process. This means that access can be changed at any time. Access could be granted in the morning and removed by that same afternoon. This authorization is for discussion purposes only. Parents and family members still do not have the right to order a transcript on a student's behalf, but the student can order the transcript and share it with family members. In order to authorize access of a student's educational record, the student designates a third party individual to which access to the educational record can be granted. The student creates a keyword and a key phrase. The student shares the keyword and key phrase with the third party. The third party must provide the keyword and phrase each time when contacting IUP. The authorization process is simple to set up. First, the student accesses the personal information section in their My IUP account. Under Student Information, select Record Release Authorization. The student then identifies the person by name and address that they wish to give access. 
the student establishes a keyword and security phrase. For example, my favorite day of the week could be the security phrase and Friday could be the keyword. The student then shares this information with the person they wish to give access. Finally, the student selects any or all parts of their academic record where access is granted to a third party or individual for discussion. When the third party person or family member calls for information, they will be asked for the student's name, ID number, and keyword and security phrase. Once this information is provided correctly, we can discuss the information being requested. Please remember that since this is a dynamic process, you will be asked to share this information each time you call. Parents and family members, I encourage you to have this discussion with your student regarding your expectations for access and encourage your student to complete this authorization form to designate third-party individuals that can be granted access. If proof of enrollment is needed, students can access this information using their My IUP account as well. It's easy to do, available 24 seven, and there is no wait or processing time. Enrollment verifications are produced through the National Student Clearinghouse and are often needed for health insurance, loan agencies, credit issuers, housing providers, employers, and others. To access an enrollment verification, navigate to the Academics tab of your My IUP account. Select Enrollment Verification under the View Academic Record section. Follow the directions to navigate to the National Student Clearinghouse to obtain an Enrollment Verification Certificate. This is what an Enrollment Verification Certificate looks like. The certificate shows term start and term end dates for the semester and the enrollment that is being requested for that period of time. The enrollment status appears here in the middle. The anticipated graduation date is also on this certificate and it's a computer generated date. It's five years from the date of enrollment. Another nice feature on this form in the top right hand corner is a place where you can put the policyholder's name and a group ID. A lot of times the insurance company needs to have the policy number to find the person in their database. Transcripts are also offered through our office and are a complete listing of courses and grades that a student takes at IUP. A transcript also contains transfer credits. Transcripts are often requested by employers, scholarship applications, and other universities when academic standing or grade point average is being requested. There are two types of transcript. An unofficial transcript is free, available upon submission, and accessed through My IUP. An official transcript is ordered through the National Student Clearinghouse. You can access to the National Student Clearinghouse through your My IUP account or through the National Student Clearinghouse directly. You can send an official transcript electronically. It's fast, safe, and secure. You can also send an official transcript by mail as well if needed. A student signature is required since the student is the owner of his or her own educational record. Both types of transcripts can be accessed through My IUP. First, navigate to the Academics tab, then select Unofficial or Official under the View Academic Record section. You can also obtain an official transcript directly from the National Student Clearinghouse website. Select Order, Track, Verify, then order a transcript to begin the ordering process. DegreeWorks is a web-based tool that will assist students in viewing what requirements they will have to complete in order to graduate. Students have the ability to monitor their academic progress to make sure they are on track to graduate. This tool will enable students and advisors closer communication during times of advising and scheduling. 
DegreeWorks enables students and advisors to use what if statements. For example, what if I change my major from accounting to finance? DegreeWorks demonstrates how this change will impact the student's academic course of study. DegreeWorks tracks total number of completed courses. It tracks courses enrolled in upcoming terms. It tracks transfer courses that can be applied to degree or university requirements. It tracks liberal studies and liberal studies elective requirements. It tracks courses that do not count toward completing specific degree requirements, but can be used for university credit. And it also tracks overall GPA and major GPA. To access DegreeWorks, select the Academics tab, then select DegreeWorks Academic Progress under the View Academic Record section. Lastly, I would like to review how to access important dates for the upcoming semester. Both family members and students can ac access the academic calendar through the Registrar's Office webpage at iup.edu slash registrar. Students can also access the academic calendar through my IUP. Important dates such as when classes begin and end, the dates of breaks and days off, and the final exam week schedule are included within the academic calendar in addition to many other important semester dates. Please feel free to also explore our website further. It contains all of the information shared today and is a great resource to find answers to your questions. Should you need to email our office, please send any questions to registrars-office at iup.edu. We'd be happy to help you with whatever you need. Thank you so much for your attention today. Again, welcome to IUP. We are so excited to have you here.